I come from a very extreme circumstances. My parents got divorced when I was very young. My parents had a very rough relationship. But God saved me from all of that. And this story just talks about it. So. So after this, you know, we head to the house. But I just want to share my heart with you guys for a few moments. Yeah. Hey. Woke up in the middle of the night. My mom held a club to my father in the fight. My daddy staring at it. No, baby, you ain't right. He walks out the door, but the tears in his sight. I'm running out the door. My feet is kind of running. Pop starts shutting to get up in the house, honey. This was the first of me. Sin wasn't pretty. Four kids raised in the middle of the city. I walked up and didn't want the kids. Any little bit of wrong, she blew her lid. She lashed out. The hate of violence in her heart. It was like a rage of demon. And that told us one. I pray she's forgiven for the wrong she did. Forty-two years old, and daddy the kids. I pray for peace and restoration. Restoring my mother and all the nations. The money is kinda low, but it's okay. The mom, she's not at home, but it's okay. You got y'all to show no play, but it's okay. The man, your life ain't straight, but it's okay. See, you wanna make change, huh? Not today. You see, the pain will go away, but not today. See, I wanna forgive my mother. But not today, yes, life's gotta get better some other way At 14, I was drawn to some faces I punched the kid in the mouth for his hate You know it's great, showing up on Monday Wearing the same clothes you wore on Sunday And you know how life is Sitting in the principal's office In another junior high crisis Hear that Christ is the only way to go. But why do you let me live in a broken home? To get my moms, to get my pops, to love my grown, to slay my mom. I'll die for my respect, I'll die for my sex, go get it back. I'll sit here in the dust with this wet, and as I hit this split, let my words unbreak. And I haze as I blaze away, so sweet, please pray for me, cause I'm not sad. Truly lost and I want to be fat. The money is kinda low, but it's okay. The mom is not at home, but it's okay. And you got charges on your plate, but it's okay. And make your life very straight, but it's okay. I see you wanna make a change, huh? Not today. And yeah, the pain will go away, but not today. See, I wanna forgive my mother, but not today. And yeah, this life's gotta be better some other way. Now all we Yo, what's the outcome? How come we didn't make it? Are we gonna overcome? Yo, what's the outcome? How come we didn't make it? Are we gonna overcome? Yo, what's the outcome? How come we didn't make it? Are we gonna overcome? Yo, what's the outcome? How come we didn't make it? The money is kinda low, but it's okay. And your mama, she's not at home, but it's okay. And you got charges on your plate, but it's okay. And make your life very straight, but it's okay. I see you wanna make a change, huh? Not today. And then the pain will go away, but not today. See, I wanna forgive my mother, but not today. And yeah, this life's gotta get better some other way. At the end of the day, man, you guys are, are blessed to be in a place like this that communicates the condition in the heart of our Lord Jesus. And again, I want to challenge you guys as you go back to school and you, and you face some of your trials, some of you guys got to go to home, go home to some drama. But I want to encourage you to never give up. And in those moments when it is dark and it is heavy and it is difficult, I am challenging you to see ye the kingdom of heaven. 
Because I am telling you, I am a person that struggled believing that Jesus was real. But when I said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to seek ye first and really see what it do, really see what happens. I saw a change happen not in my, not only in my life, but in my, in my circle. I, I saw my kinfolk changing. I saw my brothers changing. I saw a lot of people changing because I said yes to the Lord. And you are not too young, you are not too old to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Because there's a, there is a life that God has created for us to live here on earth and it's way up here. It's way up here. It's an incredible life. But it, it, it starts here at the bottom and it starts with you saying, yes, I'm going to seek you, Lord. I want to tap into that, to that, to that life. I want to tap into that condition of your heart to where it makes you happy and makes you glad. Because at the end of the day, you are called to live a blessed life. And when someone asks you, how come your life is so good? How come things are so freaking awesome with you? You tell them, because God is good. Amen. Because Jesus saved me. That's why your life is good. Check my swag out. You see my haircut? God is good. You see my nice shoes? God is good. That, that, that's, what it, that's what it means. When you seek him first and all these things are added unto you. See how people say, well, why? Why does God bless you like that? So you can go and tell somebody. So you can go and tell somebody how good he was to you. Because then that's going to encourage the other kid from to be like, you know, I'm going to see what's up with you because your life is looking pretty Gucci. Your life is looking pretty straight because you said yes to Jesus Christ. Talk about the guy with the beard that. Yes. Let me hear y'all say yes. yes. Okay, I need you to say it with a little bit more fire, okay? How do you say fire in Spanish? Fuego. 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 I need y'all to say a little bit more fuego, alright? On the count of three, let me hear y'all say yes. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. Every single one of you have a specific calling to your life. But the key, the key element is you have to take an initial step. You have to seek the Lord. And it doesn't have to be to a point in your life where everything's bad. Then you say, you know what? I'm going to give this Jesus thing a shot. Can we say yes to Jesus when everything's Gucci, when everything's good at one time? Please. Because my life has been so much more fulfilled when I said yes to him. When I do something, there's meaning behind it. And it feels awesome because I feel like everything I'm doing is giving praise to the Father that saved my soul. And the thing about it is at the end of the day, man, there's a real heaven and there's a real hell for all of us. Every single day, you wake up, you just took another step closer to eternity. You took another step closer to meeting Jesus. Because the Bible tells us that absent from the body, you are in the presence of the Lord. And when you're in his presence, he's going to look at you and be like, did your life radiate? Did your life display my name? And some of you guys are thinking like, well, I'm only 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. I don't even know what all that means, cuz. Well, here's the deal. You have to take the step to find out what it means and what it is. You have to seek the Lord. Because the Lord is a gentle God. He's not going to come choke slam you into heaven. No, it's just not going to happen. He's not going to do it. With a smile. Not no. We have to say, you know what? I'm going to seek him. Because that was the realest scripture I've ever read in the Bible. To me. Because I thought that God was just this dude up there that made everything. 
You holler at him, he's gonna hold you down. That's what I thought God was to me. But when I read that scripture, when it simply says, seek ye first Amen. the kingdom of heaven, and all of these things will be added unto you. Let's break that down. When it says to seek ye first, that means in everything you do, you need to acknowledge that God sent you there, that God required you and equipped you to go there. And then when it says the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is a place. In order to enter that place, you have to embody certain characteristics. So you need to seek those characteristics, which is love, patience, kindness. Those are the characteristics that embody the kingdom of heaven. And then when you do that, God will bless you. He says, I will add all of these things unto you. He knows the things you love to do. Some of you guys in here love to dance. Some of you guys love to sing. Some of you guys love sports. God put those desires in your heart for a reason. And it's not a bad thing. That thing that you love to do, I don't want anybody to ever tell you that it's a bad thing. Because it's not. But that thing that God placed in your heart for you to do, it's, he wants you to use that element to give him glory in that. He wants people to, like some of you guys love to draw. There needs to be a way you give glory to the Lord with that gift. Some of you guys know how to braid hair. There needs to be a way you give glory to the Lord with that gift. Because again, that goes back to the scripture. The scripture says, seek ye first. So if you're doing something you love to do, and you say, God, I give this to you, he will bless you. Amen. And I am a living example of that. I love making rap music. I love writing rap songs. But I said, God, this is a gift that you placed in my heart. I give this back to you. So he takes that, bats in that, and he says, I want to bless you. Because you blessed me. And it's a blessing for me to be in front of you guys tonight. It does something to me every time I get the opportunity to share my soul. So thank you for allowing me to share my soul with you guys tonight.